Hey, let me welcome you once again to Fruit For Your Life. Hey, I'm gonna share some updates with you uh, about some goal setting uh, that I have. And goal setting is very important, especially when you become what they call a fruitarian. That's just someone who eats a lot of fruit. So stick around, I'm gonna tell you what I do throughout the week. Okay, so this is actually what I eat. Now, this isn't all of it for the week. Like today is Wednesday. Uh, actually. So I've already had, you know, some watermelons. I've had some grapes, some oranges, um, but I'm just going to show you exactly what I eat uh, during the week. Now that the watermelon season is gone out, when watermelon season was in, I ate nothing but watermelon just because I loved it that so much. So as you can see, I have um, a, a small watermelon. I have two young green water coconuts. Um, I also have two bags of grapes that I eat and those beside the grapes, those are pears, red pears. And I like to deal with dark colored fruit because it's good for your blood. Um, and as you can see, I have bags of oranges. Now you might wonder why I have bags of oranges. I've already knocked off three bags like that uh, of these oranges already. Um, these are good snacks. Like when I'm driving and I start getting hungry, what do I do? I keep a bag of oranges beside me and I start eating them because that is what keeps me away from starting to have cravings. I have learned that when I start to crave food, it's because I'm hungry. So if I eat uh, a good water fruit like that, then you know, that knocks it off probably within 10 minutes. So many of us were having our cravings. We are just not eating enough. Um, and so when you start to have it, hey, go put something in your mouth, something that's good for you. Okay, also I have bananas as well. Um, and I use the bananas because, you know, before I work out, uh, that gives me some sugar or later at night, you know, if I want something sweet, if I feel the need for something sweet, I'll eat a banana and that normally will take care of it because banana is not a water fruit anyway. And you know, before you go to bed, you don't wanna eat a lot of water fruit because you will be up in the middle of the night using the bathroom. And the last thing that I have, I know many of you all are saying, what is that in that container? You're eating processed food. <laughs> yeah, that's hummus. Um, I love hummus. Uh, so sometimes when I'm out, um, sometimes I feel like the fruit uh, just doesn't satiate me, meaning it doesn't make me feel fulfilled. And so chickpeas are really good, but while I'm out, I do hummus. And let me tell you how I eat my hummus. Many of you all will be like, yuck. You see those bags of grapes right there? I will take a handful of grapes and mix them in with my hummus uh, because the grapes are, you know, are really sweet. Uh, and also I like grapes and hummus together. I just developed that, I don't know why. Uh, but you know, these are the things that I eat. And normally when I eat all of this, uh, I really don't have to drink any water throughout the week. Don't forget I'm getting water from the oranges and I'm also getting water from the melons and I'm also getting water from the coconut. I'm getting water from the grapes. The only thing that I'm not getting water from is the hummus and the bananas. So again, I've already knocked off a couple of melons uh, and, and things and I'm, I'm staying hydrated, believe it or not. I'm actually trying to keep from waking up in the middle of the night and having a tinkle so much. So this is what I eat during the week. This is what I'm doing now. I know I did a previous video, but this is how I'm operating now. And I'm gonna get that 180 pounds, you watch. Now what I do throughout the week has actually somewhat changed up. And it's actually somewhat changed up because of where I have been for about the last two months. So as many of you know, for those of you who have followed me, followed me, you know, you can go back and look at my, my older videos if you haven't ever followed me before. Um, and I show step by step what I did, how I lived, how I ate, uh, and everything in my beginning process. All right, so now that I have gotten down below the 200s, uh, so I came from two, actually 270, 260 documented, but I know I was 270. Uh, from 270 pounds, I got down to 194 pounds, or 93 pounds rather. And so I've been fluctuating between, for the last two months, between 195 and 199. So I'm always staying in between 195 and 199. And I'm doing, like we're literally doing nothing different from what I was doing originally. All right, so 
I've set some new goals for myself. They're really not new goals. I actually became okay with where I was. You know, I'm no longer 270 pounds. So why am I gonna complain because I'm 195 and 199 pounds? You know, hey, that, that's over 60 pounds that I've lost and I feel great. I feel awesome. I have plenty of energy. Don't know what to do with most of it. Okay, so I've been okay with that for about the last, uh, I would say the last two months. And, you know, during that time, I just did, um, and I felt like I was in a holding pattern for a little while. And I really did some processing during that time. I mean, I still had hopes and I still had dreams of what I was planning to do, but I was in a holding pattern. And it's okay for you to be there. Like if you've lost weight and you haven't lost any more weight because you haven't done anything different, it's okay to be there for a while, okay? Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. I consider that to be a time of processing for, you You know, as long as you're not going back up and going in reverse, hey, take your time where you are, get adjusted to it, be okay with it. And then you'll start to be just like me, finding yourself not being okay with it any longer. So then you're gonna push yourself even farther. So let me tell you what I'm actually doing um, to put push myself. Okay, so I got in contact with um, a brother that I met um, a, a, he's become a really good friend uh, that I've met. His name is Lawrence Richardson. He's over at Leaf Life. Uh, so if any of you all would go to Facebook and, you know, friend him on Facebook, you know, his Instagram and everything. It's called Leaf Life with Lawrence. And so I got to talking to Lawrence um, this past week and I was like, hey, man, I feel like, you know, I need to keep moving forward. I feel like I'm you know, I'm here and I'm okay, but you know, I feel like there's more. I feel like I can do more. I feel like I can lose more. So, you know, he and I chatted and, you know, he gave me some options. You know, that's what I love about the brother is he's very detailed. If you go back and watch my video, uh, I did an interview with him. Um, he's a bodybuilder actually, and he's really good on nutrition. And if you're a type of person that like to measure your food, eat so many grams, if you're a very strict guideline type of person, he's a perfect person for you to talk to, to get some help from. So anyway, he's talking to me and he says, you know, Ed, I, I really think you need to start doing some intermittent fasting. Now I did that for a little while uh, in the early in the beginning because I saw results and then I kind of got away from it um, because I felt like I was doing well enough that I didn't have to have and didn't really need the intermittent, intermittent fasting. Okay. So um, he said, you need to start back intermittent fasting. So I did. So I now, I don't eat between, he, his advice was, hey, don't eat before 11 o'clock and don't eat after six o'clock. So I'm looking at it, it's a 16-8. So 16 hours, I do not eat. I do my intermittent fasting and eight hours, I do eat. So I can eat what I want to, you know, within reason uh, during that time. And so, you know, he was helping me understand, you know, I know some of you are gonna see the protein that I was using. I told you that um, I was eating hummus and I do eat hummus and I eat hummus uh, because it is a good source of protein as well. Not that I don't get it from the fruit and the plants, I, I do. But now that I'm exercising and now that I'm working out, I kind of need a little bit extra um, to help my muscles to re rejuvenate. And uh, you know, the sugar from the fruit, it provides me plenty energy i when i worked out this morning it was i was fired up and that normally ain't me normally oh gosh it's time to work out i was ready to work out y'all so you know it's really working so this is um you know starting day three for me i started on monday today is wednesday um so i've been working out monday tuesday and today and you know i'm feeling really good i mean i can already begin to tell my body beginning to change just because of the intermittent fasting that I'm doing um, and also uh, just because of the way I'm eating, you know, again, the timing of it. Uh, and also I did have to cut something out. As many of you all know who watch me, you know I love nuts. I have officially cut nuts out for a while until I reach my goal, my goal weight, my, my YouTube weight is 190 pounds. My personal goal is 180 pounds. And I would love to really see 175, but I'm shooting for 180, no, I'm sorry, let me take that back because I'm not affirming myself. I'm gonna lose 
this 19 pounds to put me at 180. Okay, so I'm not, I don't have 19 pounds to lose. No, I'm going to lose 19 pounds. All right, so that's what I'm doing. And so I wanted to update you all on where I was and talk to you about goal setting. You have to set goals for yourself. And when you reach those goals, you mark them off. It just shows you that you're on the right path. If you don't set goals for yourself, you have nothing to aim for. So you have to have something to aim for. I don't care if it's a little bit, a, a small goal. Reach that small goal and set yourself another small goal and you will reach it. So I hope that this helps you understand how to get you a, a plan, a goal together. You know, make changes, um, write it down so that you know when you understand, you know, really what you are doing. All right. Next, get you some support. Join. I don't care whose Facebook group that you join. Join whoever Facebook group you feel like that you can get the most help from. But I do know a Facebook group that just started not too long ago within a matter of about two, three months ago, and it already has over 800 people in it and people are posting, people are sharing their goals. Uh, you might want to go to Fruit For Your Life private group. Uh, it's called Fruit For Your Life community. And it's a private group, it's a closed group, so you have to join it. Hey, if you do, please answer the questions. I know that some people are saying that they don't have, uh, they don't see the questions, and I can't do anything about that. So what I wind up doing is approving everybody because some say they do see it, some say they don't see it. So I'm not gonna hold anybody back from trying to learn and from trying to grow. So, hey, you know, just, just do the best that you can. That's all you can do is do the best that you can. All right. So I do have a spiritual lesson on my live. You can go look at and look and I'm talking about eating and just go look at it. It's my only live feed that I have up right now. And I think it's pretty good for those of you who are biblical people and want to understand about our sin and eating. I think you should go check it out. All right. Hey, thank you for listening to me. I, I, I just want to share my life with you. So hopefully your life will change as well. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.